Welcome back to Sergio Explains. In this video, I'll talk about how old a whiskey really is. Several viewers have asked me, for example, I have this 12-year-old whiskey bottle, but I've had it for 20 years or so. So this is a 32-year-old whiskey, right? No, it doesn't work like that. That is a common misconception, mainly because wine continues aging in the bottle, but whiskey does not. So it's easy to get confused. You see, wine is a fermented beverage, and when they put it in the bottle, you could say it's still alive. It has microbes swimming in it, and that means there is biology and chemistry still going on in the wine bottle. And if you age it properly, it will actually get better with the passage of time. Or it can actually spoil or turn into vinegar. On the other hand, whiskey does not continue aging in the bottle because whiskey is a distilled beverage. It basically means it has been sterilized. It's dead. There are no little bugs swimming in it. Therefore, the aging has stopped the moment they removed it from the barrel. So the best time to drink a whiskey is soon after you buy it. If you keep whiskey in the bottle for a long time, it will at best remain the same good quality as it was the day it was bottled. But it can actually get worse if exposed to high temperatures, bright light, or too much or too low humidity, it can evaporate. It can go bad. Therefore, when we talk about the age of a whiskey, we're talking about the number of years it's spent in the barrels. When you see a Demacallan 18, for example, the number on the label reflects how many years it's spent inside the barrels, acquiring its color, aroma, and complex flavors. And generally speaking, the older the whiskey, the better it is. Single malt whiskies will usually tell you up front how old the whiskey is, but it's not so straightforward either. This is the good part of the video, okay? So pay attention. Take notes. Unless the label says single barrel or single cask, single malt whiskies do not come from just one barrel. Almost every single malt whiskey is made from marrying and notice I'm not saying blending, I'm say, saying marrying many different malt whiskey barrels from the same distillery. And usually those barrels are from different years and have different ages. Additionally, the law says if you want to put a number on the label for the age statement, I can't open it. <laughs> it must be the age of the youngest whiskey in the marriage. That means that if and when a 21-year-old whiskey is married with a 24-year-old whiskey, that is by law a 21-year-old whiskey. Yes, this bottle right here probably has some 22, 23, and 24-year-old whiskey in it. And, as a matter of fact, sometimes they even say so on the label. This whiskey clearly states that it is at least 18 years old because the label says it contains whiskies distilled in 1990 and in earlier years. 
Blended whiskies usually do not state how old they are. They often contain several different kinds of grains and malts from a different number of distilleries, and each has been individually aged for a different number of years. And when they have an age statement, it must also be the youngest one. So instead, they just call them by names like Double Black, Blue Label, etc. But some of them do show their age statement. Green is 15. Gold is 18. And the Shiva's Royal Salute is a 21 year old. But remember, they can and they most likely do contain older whiskies. Some blended whiskies, usually the cheaper, lower quality ones, don't have an age statement because they are just too young, like three to eight years old, so they just don't say anything. On the other end of the spectrum, though, we have whiskies like this Royal Lognagard Selector Reserve. It is a single malt, and remember, that means same distillery, but barrels of different years have been married. And it doesn't say how old it is. In order to avoid stating the lowest age, a lot of distilleries actually try to stay away from age statements in some of their best whiskies. And when they do that, they usually give them important sounding names like Selected Reserve, or Vintage Reserve. Now, as far as I'm concerned, if the master distiller says this is one of the best whiskies their distillery can produce, that's perfectly okay with me. I'm not going to ask for its ID. I'll just trust the master distiller that it's old enough to drink it. And if older is better, then this is just extraordinary. Check it out. Huh? 